Today we're looking at a beast called Domain Name Auctions. Check the box below for links to the other videos in the series. There are generally two types of domain auctions out there. One where someone's selling a highly valued name such as shoes or cars.com and another where a domain name has expired and instead of letting it go back out to the market, the domain registrar holds it and attempts to auction it off to make a few extra bucks. Depending on the traffic to your website, a domain can auction for anywhere between $10 up to thousands. So why in the world would my domain name go to auction? First off, you probably registered your domain a few years back and placed unique content on your website. This is the first piece of value on your site because search engines and different index directories throughout the web, they have indexed the content on your website and linked different keywords to your site depending on the content you used. Second, you've probably promoted your site quite a bit and over time you've built backlinks from other websites into yours. A backlink is simply a link from another website and they're highly valuable because it's basically free traffic. So now you should have a fairly good idea of why your domain name holds value and why your domain registrar is going to want to auction that domain off before letting it go back out to the market. So who bids on these domains? There are typically three types of people who buy expired domain names. The first and most common bidder that I've found is someone who's going to take the website and apply some generic but related content and then place ads on the website. And now what that's going to do is it's going to create revenue for them from the ads. They're going to make two or three bucks a month. And if you do this a couple thousand times, you got a full-time job. The second type of bidder is someone who assumes that you lost the domain by accident and that you're going to want it back. They buy it at auction for 10 bucks and they attempt to resell it to you for a few hundred. Now if they sell 20 or 30 of these a month, that's another full-time job. The last type of bidder I've found is going to be your competitor. If your super awesome shoes website goes out of business, you better believe that the guy that owns supercoolshoes.com is going to want your domain and he'll be there bidding on it. So the moral of today's story is do not let your domain name expire unless you're completely comfortable with someone else owning it and doing with it whatever they please. All right, that wraps up the final episode in this four-part series of Domain Name Danger. Check the box below for links to the other videos in the series. Also, I'm putting out videos Monday through Friday. That's every weekday, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a thing. If these videos are helping you out, I want to know about it. Send me a message on Twitter, at Shane Gramling, or comment below. I'll see you tomorrow.